How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. See, I'm going to be going over the Galaxy Tab A for beginners. And um, this is going to be a simple walkthrough of just the, the buttons and just the basics of how this tablet works. Um, every year when Samsung puts out a new tablet, they do make a couple of little tweaks. And so uh, if you have one of these and maybe you have one of their previous models, you'll notice that it's working a little bit differently than it did before. So um, here we go. Let's jump right in. Um, first thing, so we do have... Uh, no buttons on the left side, all buttons are going to be on the right side of the tablet right here. And the first thing I always like to show is just simply when you hold down on this uh, power button or standby button right here, hold it for one second, uh, it does bring up power, airplane mode, and restart. So if you ever wonder, hey, how do I turn this thing off, this is how you do it. You hold that button and hit power or restart to restart the tablet. So just start there, it's a general thing. Um, next thing, if you want to take a screenshot, let's say you've got something really important on the screen that you want to save. Let's say I'm just going to go into this music app. You're like, oh man, this app is cool. Let me take a screenshot. Uh, put one finger on the home button, one finger on the, uh, the power button, and just hold it for one second. And it will take a picture. And uh, when, once that picture is taken, it actually will save it in your gallery app right here. That's where you're going to find all your pictures. So that's super cool. Um, now I want to go over just the, the button configuration. Uh, so we have three buttons on this tablet aside from the volume and the uh, standby power which is your recent apps. So with recent apps this shows you all the apps that are currently running and apps is short for applications like on a computer like a program. And so let's say I want to close out something. Um, let's say I opened the internet earlier and I want to close it. I just swipe just like that and it will close it. Uh, it's important that you close your running apps. You don't want to keep a lot of things running in the background. A misconception with these tablets is that if I'm in an app, let's say I'm in the Play Store, which is where you buy apps and movies and games and all the stuff up here. If I hit the home button, a lot of people think that it's gonna, it just closes the app and it doesn't. The app is still running in the background and so when you tap right here, this is how you can see it that app is still running so you want to close it if you're not using it anymore because if not it will eventually slow down the tablet now you do have an option down here which is close all and if I tap here it's going to close all the apps at one time so I don't have to swipe each one it's just a good rule of thumb to do that because that's going to make sure that uh, your tablet will, will run at the optimum speed uh, so um, one tap brings that up. If I just hold down as I take my finger and just put it on here, it will bring up what is called multi-window. And what multi-window allows you to do is to have two apps open at one time. So think of having your email up here and a website up here. Or let's say I'm going to have Chrome up here so we have the internet. And then down here I'm going to have, uh, you could do Instagram. I haven't downloaded Facebook yet, but Facebook also is available. And one of the, the new things about this tablet that's really cool is they've kind of, it comes with Skype now, so you could actually be Skyping with someone. You could have a Skype video right up here, and you could have the internet down here. So watch this. So think of it, you've got your Skype video chat you're working on, or you can even turn this sideways, just like this. I can have Skype over here and I can be video chatting and right over here I've got my website and you guys can be talking about different things or whatever you could be doing like a conference or something like that um, right you know at the same time so that's a really standout feature about this tablet is that you know it really allows you to do multiple things at once you know it's the ultimate multi -tap, multitasking uh, feature so um, Anyway, so remember, one press recent apps, two presses, or a long press is what's going to bring up your uh, multi-window or, or two apps at once. Next, we have our home button, and I kind of hit it really quick earlier, which is that if I have an app that's open, let's say, for example, I have the camera open, and I want to close it, all I have to do is just hit the home button, and it will close that app for you. Again, not closing it, but it will take you back to the home screen, so... If you ever hit the wrong app or the wrong thing and you need to get back to this screen, your home button is going to be your fail safe. Now what you can also do is hold down on it and it will bring up what is called Google Now. And what Google Now does is it, it uses, it kind of learns the type of things that you search and um, it basically just tries to make your life a little bit easier. So it also uses your uh, Gmail account 
and the type of emails you have to kind of push the most important information to you. For example, uh, I did fly out recently for a training and um, they sent me a confirmation email so Google now automatically just took that flight information and it just showed up on the screen when I hold down that button. Um, also, I searched a, uh, a sports team recently, like the Clippers or something. And so now when I hold this down and it takes me to this section, it will actually show me like when the next game is. If the game is on, it will actually show me what the score is. So it's very intuitive and it just, the goal of it is to make your life a little bit easier. Let you know what's happening now. You can even put in like where you work and it will actually let you know how long it takes you to get there, if there's traffic. So it's a really awesome feature. Um, and finally right here we have the back button and what this back button does is let's say I'm in an app and I hit the wrong button let's say I'm here and I hit books and I meant to hit movies or something if I hit the back button it's going to take me back one step and if I hit it again it's going to take me out of the app so it literally just just takes you back one step so let's say I go to books and then from here I go to Nora Roberts. And then here I go to, I don't know, then another book, right? I just did three things. So I can hit back arrow one time, hit it again, hit it again. And now I'm back to the first screen and I hit it again and it takes me home. So that's just a really helpful feature to help you get out of an app or help you to, to move back a step if you hit the wrong thing. Um, here we have our apps section. So if you're someone who's coming from an iOS uh, tablet or basically an iPad, you'll normally you had all the every single app that you ever had was always on your home screen. Well, with this tablet and a lot of other Android tablets, all your apps are not going to be on the home screen. In fact, only the apps that you want to be on the front are going to be here. Everything else is going to end up in the app section. So. Um, this is just an important rule um, or just an important thing to know that if you can't find an app on the home screen, it doesn't mean it's not on there. It just means it's here, which is this called your app drawer. This is where you find all the apps that are on the tablet. And if you notice, they're all condensed on one page. And actually right here, there's a folder that has like, oh, there's a folder right here that has like six apps in it right now. But that is um, your app drawer. Finally, if we swipe down from the top here, we'll find a couple of other really important things. So, uh, up here we have a shortcut to your settings. So if you need to change a setting on the tablet, you just swipe down and hit the wheel. And up here you have what are called your switches. And this is how you turn off certain things on the tablet and how you activate certain features. So, for example, like you want to turn on your Wi-Fi, you're going to just tap that and make sure it's lit up. GPS, sound, if you need to put it on vibrate or off, you're just going to hit that. And then no light means it's off and even says mute. And if we hit it again, there's a sound. This one actually doesn't have a mute, which is interesting. It only has sound and mute. So I guess you don't really need vibrate for a tablet. You know, Screen rotation, so when you turn it sideways and, and it, everything rotates, that's right there. Bluetooth. Power save is good if your battery is running low, but I found that the battery on here is freaking incredible. I think I'm on my third day right now of not charging it and it's still running great. But uh, you can use power save to kind of help the battery last a little bit longer. Got your airplane mode. Do not disturb is for at night when you're trying to go to sleep and you don't want to hear uh, the tablet make noise. You can say, hey, from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m., don't make noise. And that's what do not disturb will actually do for you. Um, you got your ultra power save, which is a super extreme setting. Maybe you're on 10% and you need to hold that battery for a longer time. That's what the ultra power save is going to do. Um, private mode is super awesome. It actually will allow you to hide pictures and video. So maybe you have some personal pictures and video that you don't want people to see. You can just go ahead and turn on private mode and set up a password. And people will not be able to see those albums unless you're in the private mode setting. And finally, a really cool feature, which is called screen mirroring. So you can actually mirror your tablet to your TV. So if, let's say you have Netflix on the tablet. You could pull it up on here, do a screen mirror, and then you can share it with your TV. Now, you will need uh, a, an adapter to make that work if you don't have a smart TV. Uh, so like if you buy a Roku stick or like a Chromecast, it generally will work with those type of devices. And you can mirror it and see it on your big screen.
And then finally down here, S Minder is a cool way to search the tablet for like emails or messages or if you can't find an app, you can just hit that and type it in. It'll help you find it. And Quick Connect is really awesome. This actually will allow you to connect again to like a, a TV to mirror your screen and help you connect to like a wireless printer if you're trying to print something. Uh, Quick Connect just kind of makes it easier. It shows you all the devices that are available for you to connect. Let me show you real fast actually. I'm going to tap on that. You can see uh, kind of how it works. Let's see. There we go. So I'm going to say turn on Quick Connect. It turns on Bluetooth. It makes sure your Wi Fi is on. And it looks like I have some other devices in the room it's trying to connect to right now. Um, and I think that's, I guess that's it right now. I thought I had some more stuff, but uh, I think this might be like another phone or something. Anyway, the last thing is down here, which is going to be a notification section. So if you get a new email or if you download an app or something like that, uh, all those notifications show up right here. And to get rid of them, you can hit clear to clear the whole list, or you can just swipe just like that, and it'll get rid of it. So anyway, guys, this has been the Galaxy Tab A for beginners. I just kind of want to do a basic walkthrough to uh, show you guys how it functions because it does function slightly different than older Samsung tablets. So hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.